Good morning, friends. How is everybody? Well, I'm in movie making position here, as you can see. My wife's feeding Chica. We give Chica, because of her trauma, Look at that nice new haircut I got, friends. Pretty short skis, eh? I like my hair short. It's because it's got the gray in it, right? And it looks a little bit not so gray when she's short. Come on, let's get honest, right? Let's be honest. Keeping the fluids up. Um, we have this, this job. Now, friends, Matt and Hogan went to school together as kindergarten and up. They graduated together. Both their dads are loggers. And I just think it's neat that these two young fellas have this connection through, through life now. And that Matt's not a climber, friends, you see? So, so Matt's not a climber. So you, you know what I'm noticing now, friends, about Hogan? And I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. And I mean, we all learn from where we start, right? Who taught us? Where did we... If we were taught by just a climber, then we're going to be heavy on the tree work and heavy... You know what I mean? Well, Hogan wasn't taught by a tree worker. I, or he was taught by a tree worker, but he was also taught by a logger, myself. And Ian, he spent a ton of time with Ian. Ian, how are you doing? I'm so glad my boys worked with Ian. It just, us older guys, we, we come from a different realm. You just do. I'm, I'm not saying it for any other reason than, than it's true. I worked with a guy who's now 70. He's still freaking cutting trees, bear claw. He's my, he was my mentor. You guys have heard me talk of him for a long time now. He's still cutting, friends. Like, legendary man. In, in a lot of people's minds, okay? So, <sighs> Hogan has learned different skills. Like, he can fall. Like, he, he'll be working for tree, tree work guys, and they'll be like, that are uncomfortable with wedging. Well, Ganges, he that's right down his alley. He come from that, you see? So, I'm just proud of him. So what happens? Matt can fall trees. Matt, Matt, Matt can do that, but he, Matt's not a climber. So Matt calls Hogan on these jobs, friends, okay? And other fellas do too. And I'm just so proud of the young fella. I really am. It's just to have second generation tree man in the house. It's just really neat for me as, you know, being raised by my mom. I mean, I wasn't going to be a second generation. You know what I mean? It's just neat. It's so cool. So excited. Move on. Move on, Buck, and get out of it. Change gears. Okay, there we go. So this job, uh, it's Matt called Hogan. And then Hogan, I guess, was talking to Matt. And Matt said, well, it's, well, it's, it's an interesting one. It, we, you know, it's tight quarters. Maybe, maybe your dad will want to come along. So Hogan asked me, and that's how I ended up there. And I ended up doing 90% of the following. Just because I just dive in and go. I, I just look at them and say, okay, is it, can I, you know, I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but uh, do you want me to do this? And then I just, I just go, I just do it. Um, so this is fun, but it is all GoPro footage, friends, because of the rains. It rained hard and we just, it was, it was a logging job. We didn't want to be, you know, just, it's just the way it went. So I'm trying to search for, uh, footage from the camera. I may have, I may have a little bit in the old phone that we lost. I will look, but I'm building that video now. It's a beautiful sunny day. We've had rain, rain, rain. Friends, I feel, I feel good. I feel grateful. Uh, I'm feeling strong. 
We are planning a road trip, friends. It's the main thing on my mind right now because Myrtle, we have to, and you know who I called on, friends? Is Ryan. Dixon and Fraser. He says, leave the rear end and it change the gears. Friends, I don't know. This is one thing about automotive stuff. I don't, I'm not the gear guy. Uh, that's not, not my, not my gig, but, but most people are saying change the gears because it's a full floating axle, right? It's a, it's a full floater. You take out the axles, you slide that one out, slide that, and you, and then you get into the gears. So Ryan, who actually just left me a message before I fired this little blurb up, preamble up. So I'm going to get back to Ryan. We're changing gear ratio, friends. I'm going to go to a 355 or a 373, probably 355 for highways. And then you don't lose that bottom. Uh, which would be unreal for Myrtle. It would change everything. I'm excited, actually. I've wanted to do that for years. It's a big job. So that's what we're doing. But this job, friends, there's some really nice little falling on here. And there's some good kibitzing going on with the boys and I. And just, it might be a two-parter. I'm not sure. It was a good-sized job. But let's get at it. Friends, I love you all. Thank you so much. Friends, I can't tell you. The support that you're giving the giving the store right now, the buckandbillyray.com with the t-shirts and the super thanks on here and your donations, I'm telling you right now, thank you all so much. It's a huge, huge help to us right now because of what's going on with Myrtle and everything that we're planning for the channel. It's a massive help and we appreciate you so much. And that's the truth of it. Thank you. Our messengers of kindness. Thank you all. Let's get into this, friends. Enjoy. Thumbs up. Thank you. Over and out. We're starting a small logging job here, maybe a couple loads. We'll see what happens for footage. It's a bit uh, wet. Morning, friends. Super excited to be here. Very important when you're cutting trees, especially fallen, to have yourself an escape route. Two is great, but you've got to have a way away from the stump. Things can go awry quick, and if you've got no place to go, it could be your demise. Just go by the book when it comes to fallen. Get these, get these escape routes cut. You don't want to be tangled up. We all want to make a stump and get in there and make a stump. But so anyway, I'm I'm here as a as a helper. This is not my job. We do a little tailboard meeting to get started. Make sure that he told me where he thinks the wood should go, and I looked and I said, "Yep, yeah, I agree. Let's go," and away we go.
So a second log, we can just run it to five. No sense in marking it. Pretty much. I figured because we'll try and get the first log nice yep. on we'll pluck it off at like a five inch. inch. Five yeah. spot right here where we're dealing with we're we're just oh here let me get this going so i can see what's happening yeah so we dressed up that log remember friends down at the dry land when your logs go down there people are looking at your logs and if they're scrappy and you got little nubs all over them people aren't going to like that and your name will show up there because they they know who fell the wood so clean it up keep it good keep it rolling tight stay in the pocket so to speak now this little tree friends this one right now i'm looking at it and i'm doing a voiceover with you we got the dumpster here dumpster say hi to everybody morning morning says the dumpster we love the dumpster okay see that muffler friends look at that muffler on that power stop that's what i'm running here right now and i'm liking it mark thanks buddy <laughs> You either go build a hole behind it and let it go back, or you do this. Or set it up and bang it with something, but that wasn't an option here. Notice my wedge there, friends? So, this thing gets set up. We crack it before we set an undercut in it. We crack it right up there, as you see. I'm just kind of looking at it here, friends, as we're going, right? We got Nick here. Nick and I haven't visited in a while, so we're looking for a Dana 70 rear end so I can swap out my rear end on Myrtle. We're all over the place here trying to get things square. If you nip one little fiber too much, as I mentioned, you didn't... So this, this tree here, friends, that I'm bucking up right now is the one before yesterday's that you saw in the, in the video. This is before yesterday's footage. We open up. Um... showing you the hole in there. Did you see that? So it's pretty much set up, ready to go. I try to push it over by hand, it doesn't go. So we need to doctor it up a bit. All you're doing, friends, is you're building a hinge in reverse. Think about it that way. That's what, what uh, 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 back cut first is. You're building a hinge in reverse. That's it, that's all you're doing. You're coming in from the back, setting it up so it don't go nowhere. Here we go. I cracked it over, it's going. This one was hard. It's done. We're right on the sideline here, so I kicked it in a little bit. That'll get buried in no time. Let's get back at it. I'm gonna cut up a little tree, a couple little trees, and then we're gonna skip ahead because that's where yesterday's video kind of kicked in, and you saw that. Let's roll. <laughs>
So, friends, Hogan hit steel there. He hit a fence. And uh, he's just going to go doctor up his saw. And I'm going to get straightened away here. Matt's still with me. So we're just going to continue opening up here, cutting escape roots, making sure the ground's clean. There's Matt there. He's hobbling around from that, that injury he had on the back of his leg. He cut himself with a power saw there. So we're just going to go doctor these up. I'll speed ahead. We'll come back. We'll skip the next tree, friends, because that's the one that yesterday's video started on. I showed that one and then the next one. So we'll jump ahead now. Okay, friends, you guys saw this one yesterday. Uh, in yesterday's video, this was just kind of a little preamble we were showing for yesterday to give you an idea of what was to come. So uh, we're not going to hang on this much. I'm going to go forward, and we're just going to get ahead of this because we've seen it. Let's go.
We're on the property line. Nope. No. No. Another 10 feet. Good. So. There's a hole for that thing right there. And I mean, I don't think it much matters to you, does it, where it goes? I wouldn't mind just getting rid of this thing right now. I think we got enough room, Matt. I think it's gonna break before it hits anywhere else. Well, yeah, I, I think it's gonna go through there fine. Are you okay with me putting it back there? Yeah. I'll just scrape it by that one you got your hand on, or I'll send it back there too. So why don't we do that? Yeah. Get rid of this snag. I don't like it here now. So we'll just, uh, yeah, I actually, I, I will. I'll, I'll just kick that one down and this snag. Okay. And then we got a little pocket there to work. Friends, I hope you're enjoying this so far. Friends, when it comes to fallen timber production, I've mentioned it many times before. Who's gonna touch the wood next? Who's next? Like I'm not gonna, if some guy has to, to haul the wood, you know, the next obviously is chucking it. It's a whole chuck job, flat ground, it's excavator work. But it's this old scenario like, are you gonna make things like this when you fall timber? No, you're gonna make it like this as best you can. Opening up a setting is the, one of the hardest parts of falling, is making a plan. Opening up it's called. Natural bald spots in the patch. Get things, sometimes a bunch has to go this way in order to get that patch to come back up this way. It was one of the hardest things when I first started falling was opening up, getting things opened up. So right here, we're just kind of opening up a little kind of a side patch, if you will, so that we can now work the inside timber against the line, if that makes sense. So always be thinking, always be thinking, what is the smart move? Think two or three moves ahead. Where's this one gonna go? What's that one gonna do? What are we gonna do with this patch of timber? What What's the plan with this? So it's just, You've got to be kind of thinking. It's not just, hey, this tree will go there. Well, maybe this is the wrong move. What happens if I just put that there? Well, then now I needed that for the... You know what I mean? Just always think ahead, friends. Let's get want. back at her. I'm just getting rid of the snag. Okay. What you thinking? I don't see how solid it was. Oh, uh, we got a pretty good hole. May as well process this. Yep. Look, you're looking hungry, son. This stuff. Yeah, there's just one there, isn't there? I can go okay, should we uh, maybe get another one down so two of us can get doing something here? Sure, sure. That one's, uh, yeah, I think that, why don't, why don't we just see here that a second? Like guys are push that one with the hoe. That one there? Yeah. Yeah, let, let's just leave it. We can squeeze this by though. Why don't, why don't we get one or two down then all of us can work? Good. So friends, this is another spot. We're all excited to get on the stump. Yeah, Let, let's be honest. When we're, we're young I mean, cutters and, and we're, we're all excited to get to the stump. Boys. Everybody wants to show their skills and everybody wants to make this thing happen and that. And, and, but I, I can't stress enough how important it is to think about the big picture. What happens? I, I cut this tree down and now I either send somebody out to process it because they're all hang, leaning on their saws, ready to go, including me. We're there to get a job done, but there's so much confined spaces here that there's only so much we can do. So I think to myself, well, we, got, we, we have to be efficient here. We have to be efficient. So I make the decision to cut two more trees down so that all three of us, there's no hazards down. All the woods down, there's no trees cut up anywhere. Three trees down, three guys working. So I implore you, the young man, 
who's out there doing his thing. Always have the humility to look around, make sure you're not just rolling out there by yourself and, and you know, think about others on the site with you. Think about the efficiency of the job. Let's roll. I'm just going to have myself a little sit down back here. I fell right backwards, friends. <laughs> was in here all the stumps are slanted yeah. Jane's a bit hungry but I'm mainly gonna be doing lemon and bucking so. clean <laughs> God, I'll make the wood presentable yeah oh no you really do because when it gets down to the dry line guess what your name Cedar's finest out here today. <laughs> I was thinking about names for you guys. Their bro sounds now is like skinny and skinny. Packer <laughs> pole. <Anyway. laughs> no, I, I kid you. I won't, I won't call you that no more. I'll only call you that from time to time. <laughs> it is, it, it is, most definitely. Most definitely. You guys probably had a bullshit yesterday. I was gone for like two hours. Oh, we were fighting. <laughs> he was. Right yeah, that's right. We were grinding chain and nice. talking rakers and stuff and pretty much uh, Yeah, just That's the problem with this industry. You can you know the guy that you know he hangs around forever. You can tell he's into it It's good. I'm proud of both of you 
That's it, man. Isn't it? Our whole lives, eh? That's our life. <laughs> well, right there. Trees and family. That's it. The whole thing. Gave me everything I got. Okay, friends, just a quick interlude with the iPhone. I, I'm running GoPro. Oh, actually, it's probably... Okay, friends, just a quick interlude with the iPhone. I, I'm running GoPro. Oh, actually, it's probably running right now. Yeah, it is. Um, the woods, there's some okay wood, but it's getting peeled. Matt, we got skinny and skinny here today. <laughs> anyway, skinny and short skinny. Uh, buck and long buck. Anyway, we're just, it's tight quarters. He's got a hoe. Uh, Matt's logging it actually and me and Hogan are helping him out but uh, it's a tight strip in here there's the place it goes right along there there's like I would there's not even a tree length side to side no, there's about 60 feet yeah. and that's it so everything's going long and we've got a nice little open up here we got that patch to come in after uh, we got this going in here all this is going in and then of course this stuff out on the road is going to flop in and he's got a hoe so it's tough to get stuff on the iPhone today, but we'll get a bit of GoPro stuff for you. We're having a blast. <laughs> I tell you, friends, I, uh, I I just love working with the younger generation. I, I love seeing young men do this, especially this industry, because it's the industry I'm in. But friends, I tell you... I, this this day and age with the day the, the you know the the ways of technology and and just everything there is a movement there is a movement towards using your physical god-given gifts to to make a living to create yourself to build yourself uh friends men have a certain thing in their makeup as women do, we all do, we're all connected. But for a man, I just think, and I can only speak from my own experience because I was in a different industry before I did this. I, I, I was working indoors, I, I did sales, I did all kinds of different jobs, and I have never felt as good mentally, spiritually, and physically as I have when I'm beat smacked up, barked up, scratched up, tired from physical humble labor. I can't explain it. It's just, it's in the makeup. So if you're a young man watching this or an old man or a meeting, you know, middle-aged man, if, if something's not right in your life, try and get physical. It don't matter what nobody thinks. It matters what you think and what the big fella thinks. That's it. Friends, I love you all. This was such a fun job. I'll have another video. We're at a half an hour already. So we'll have another one here. Be kind to one another. Lift each other up. Give us a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed anything in it. Head over to buckandbillyray.com for the Get the Gullet and all the merchandise we have. There's some videos on that uh, website that you have not seen. There's one new one recently up. Thanks to our messengers of kindness, our super chatters, our super thanksers, and our people that shop at buckandbillyray.com. We appreciate the heck out of you. I think I found a rear end for the pickup. I'm going to look at one earlier to, later today from an old buddy. Be kind, friends. Catch you on the next one. See you on the stump.